So many things to say about cherry blossom. I am anxiously awaiting the full bloom of my cherry blossom tree in right. my yard. It's kind of just, I'd say 10% there. Yeah, and I think we might be able to get a few trees there next week. Obviously the cooler weather not gonna help, but right. hopefully we had enough of a fake spring that the trees are just gonna keep on chugging along. But I'll tell you what, they're probably in shock this morning like I was Absolutely. walking out the door. Man, is it cold out there. Temperatures down near freezing in several spots looking live in downtown. The current number is at freezing right now in Macon. We've got more numbers in the 30s, uh, 33 in Forsyth, 35 in Roberta, 32 in Perry right now, as well as in Hawkinsville, down below freezing in Cochrane, 32 in Dublin, 28 in Eastman. All of these numbers going to continue to fall here for the next hour and a half or so and before the sun begins to come up. The little bit of wind we have out there doing a number to some of the wind chills. 29 is what it feels like in Forsyth right now, and it feels like 32 over in Butler. Now, a freeze warning in effect this morning until about 10 a.m. That's going to be for all of central Georgia for obvious reasons because we just looked at the current temperatures. Once we get past the 9, 10 o'clock hour, though, we'll be well on our way to 60s and 70s later on this afternoon. Now, high pressure just down to our south. This is going to continue to slide to the east this morning, and as it does so, our winds are going to shift and come in out of the south. So we're going to be talking about a much warmer afternoon across central Georgia compared to what we saw yesterday. So like I said, near 60 by the noon hour, and then I do think we mix in some 70s later on this afternoon. Notice the southerly wind here pulling in some gulf moisture, and that's going to allow us to not cool off as much tomorrow morning. Going to be talking about overnight lows in the 40s across the area. And then for tomorrow afternoon, this is where things get interesting. So for 3 p.m. here, a line of heavy rain right along Interstate 85. That's going to begin moving into central Georgia, arriving in Macon 5, 6 o'clock down in Dublin. I know St. Patrick's Day, a lot of events going on down there. The rain arriving right around 6 o'clock, and it's going to be raining until about 11. So there we are, 8 p.m. Rain could be heavy at times, and then once we get to 11 o'clock, that's when the back edge of the rain is going to pull out. So good news for Saturday morning for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We are going to be talking about temperatures cooler, but the rain out exiting central Georgia. As for today, 72, the high temperature, the average high 71, so warmer than where we were yesterday, but closer to average. Sunrise at 744, and then for St. Patrick's Day down in Dublin. Again, the rain going to come later in the afternoon, but before that, it is going to be overcast, mostly cloudy, we'll call it. Temperatures able to find their way into the 70s. 76 down in Dublin tomorrow, 74 here in Macon. Again, the rain expected after 3 p.m. Winds out of the south, 10 to 20 miles an hour. And a ton going on here in central Georgia this weekend. We've got, of course, St. Patrick's Day stuff, the Cherry Blossom Festival, the first weekend of that. Mercer Baseball is back in town. We'll see about that Friday forecast. 59 for Saturday, 58 on Sunday. Overnight lows in the 40s and 30s, so a cool start to the Cherry Blossom Festival, and that's going to last into next week. High temperatures in the 50s once we get into Monday. Tuesday back to 65 on Wednesday with a 30% chance of rain on Tuesday. So a cool start, as I said, to the Cherry Blossom Festival. Hey, join us tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. I will be live down in Dublin celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be a cool morning down there, so be sure to join us for that. Suzanne? Alex assures me he has plenty of green in his wardrobe. All right.